Did you ever have one of these show up in your work? It can sure wreck your day. Well, with us today, we have Marty Dewey to talk about a solution to this dilemma. Marty? Thank you, Roger. Technicians, the, the fear they have, they express their concerns. When they're sanding out imperfections such as runs and sags, their biggest dilemma, they say, is not will I get the run out of the fender, will I have sand through someplace? Will, will there be an area where I will have sanded through? And usually that answer is yes, and that's their biggest fear. By the time they get the run flattened out, they have sanded through right below it. And a sand through means a redo. It sure does. And so how do we get this out now without having that problem? I'm going to go ahead and mix up some two-component polyester glazing putty, Roger. And uh, it has to be a two-component glazing putty, uh, polyester type. Body fillers typically are, are too thick for this process. You want something very light and thin to put a light, uh, like a lighter medium coat over the top of this. And it dries fast, sands easy, and it works very, very well. Polyester putties vary in color. You'll find sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're a cream color, a yellow, sometimes in this case blue. The color doesn't matter. It's what the product does for us here that really uh, matters. I notice that run really stands out when you put that stuff on. It certainly does. It makes it look even a little bit worse. The key is when you're applying the, the glazing putty like this that you, you do try to taper your edges off a little bit so you don't have excessive sanding. I mean, you're trying to eliminate a run, but if you've got a lot of sanding to do in the glazing putty, uh, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of, of using it. The clear coat has to be thoroughly cured to do this. Fresh out of a uh, force dry cycle, out of the spray booth, we can't expect to do this. And sometimes that means putting a heat lamp on it for a few extra minutes if they want to do it right out of the booth uh, for about 15 to 30 minutes depending upon the product and temperature and humidity, things like this. Uh, but then we have to make sure it's very, very uh, cured before we begin this process. Sounds good. Let's let it cure and see what happens later. Okay. Okay, Marty, now with the cured polyester glazing putty, what do we do next? Next, Roger, we're going to take a variety of different sandpaper grits and we're going to sand this run down every step with a finer grit of paper. What do you typically start with? What kind of grit? Depending upon the severity of the run, you can start with anywhere from 320 to 600. This run is being fairly severe here at the bottom, so I'm going to start with 320 to knock down the high spot. Okay. I will quickly then transition to 400 grit and go with 400 and then switch to 600, 800, 1000, uh, 12, 15, all the way up to 3000. Excellent. And the kickback sometimes is, well, that's an awful lot of different steps. Well, so is a redo. So that's the argument we have. This is still a lot less time consuming than having to go back and re-repair this because we've sanded through. Exactly. Now is the 400 grit. Now I will make the switch to 600 grit paper. Now that I have the uh, majority of the run sanded out there, I'm going to get rid of the 600 grit scratches. I'm transitioning now to 800 grit paper. Sounds good. Now 800 to 1200. It's looking really good. Finish up with some 1200 and then we'll move on to 15. And last, we'll finish up with 3000 grit with a little bit of water. And now we're ready for the buffing step. Now that the sanding is all completed, we've concluded with 3,000 grit paper. We have a slight gloss. The buffer will, will bring up the rest of the gloss and the vehicle is ready for delivery. Sounds great. Now, could they also use a sanding block, let's say with water, to cut that same polyester glazing? Certainly they can, Roger. Some aren't comfortable with a DA. Some just simply are not comfortable with an orbital sander on fresh clear, especially in some tight areas. So if the technician's skill set is more comfortable with a block, you bet. They can do it with a block or a DA. Sounds Their great. Choice. Well, the outcome looks really good, and I'm sure it can save some uh, time when you have these difficult issues to deal with. Yes, it can. Thank you so much, Marty. You're Appreciate welcome. Appreciate it. Thank you.